Today I was thinking to do a little review of uh, how this electric UTV works on our new solar charging setup. Um, in the last video I installed some solar panels on the roof. I now got six of them installed. Um, so I'll first take a trip up there so you can see what's going on up there. So we're going up to the roof and um, looking at the panels. So here they are, six of them, wired three and three together in a series and then those two series are in parallel. They are uh, giving out about 40 volts each. So then I get 120 volts of power, which is uh, within the range of this charge controller that I have installed. So that is good. They also have, uh, I believe it's 255 watts each. So around 1,500 watts potential. Never seen it though. <laughs> These four panels on the roof are wired in series to give the 48 volts and it goes on each side of the front window with the wire down. And then I have over here the exit. Uh, it just lays on the floor now. It's connected to the house over here. So I can unplug this plug from the roof of the house and plug it into the roof of the UTV if I want to charge with that one instead. At the moment, the charge controller for this one, I placed in the hood. I later on want to place it underneath in the back here because then it's easier with the wiring and I can have the solar plug just sticking out from in between the seats. Should be fairly easy. Not sure where to put the one from the roof yet. Maybe I'll put it in the back instead of in the front. But this is still a trial and uh, experience as we go. So let's pop the hood and see what's under there. It's two easy pull plugs in the front to open up this. I'm not completely sure what it's called. Um, I can open it like this and then just pull the hood up and everything is exposed. So this is the original 230 volts charger that came with the UTV and the solar charger is placed up here. It's a Victron charger, 150 slash 35 charger. Had to go that big to get the 48 volts. So I don't know if I really need that much, but it's nice now with the panels on the roof. For the panels on the vehicle itself, it's way overkill. Um, but yeah, with the connecting it directly to the roof panels, it's it's nice to have that available. And it goes with a white wire all the way to the back to the battery bank, which when I move it to the back of the vehicle, it should be shorter wire strips, not not needed to to be so much. At the moment, this one has the communication port plugged into the USB cable and going indoors. I can reconnect this one to the Bluetooth one so I can connect it to the phone again. So if I now turn the UTV on, you can see the power meter here. It shows uh, about 90% charged. I'm not sure if I completely trust it. It seems to change a little bit as I go. So let's take it for a test spin and see what happens if, it's, if it changes its numbers. I'll try to hold the camera here while driving a little bit and uh, we'll see if we can make it do this weird jump that it sometimes does when it's driving again.
it did go up about a couple of percent. I'm not sure, like, is it? According to, I took a power reading when I had it, oh, there in 93. I had it connected to the 230 volt charger and I took a power reading. I think I can confirm those numbers later, but I think the power was 53.34 volts when it was fully charged, reading out from the Victron controller. So I, prob I programmed that one to have that as its float value to make sure that it charges to the same volt stage as the, as the 230 volts original charger was charging with. So that sh should, in theory, get it back up to 100%, but I'm not sure why this one is so jumpy. It's, um, I, I trust um, the measurements that I do both with a victim charger and with a voltage meter better than this number on the dashboard there, which just seems like it's living its own life. I checked up the numbers that um, I mentioned earlier for the voltage, and those were the numbers that I read the original the first time. And now it's been on the roof again, charging a little bit, and it's back on float, and it's now it's as 91%. I'm not sure why this meter doesn't say a hundred, um, but I don't want to destroy the batteries or anything, so I just leave it at that voltage, and and it works great. I never need that much anyways, and I can just recharge it all the time. So.